does sin put you in hell? Well, let's say it like this. Does sin put you in a lake of fire? Because we got to understand something, y'all. We have to understand something. Hell and the lake of fire is two different places. Two totally different places. Not the same place. So for everybody that's saying, oh man, hell and the lake of fire is the same thing. No, it's not. Hell is a place called Sheol. Sheol, the grave. S-H-E-O-L. That's the grave. That's where we're all going to be at. But if you go read Luke 16, Luke 16 shows you it's two sides. The rich man was on was in torment. He lifted he lift up his eyes and he was in torment. He was crying for his five brothers not to come there. He he begged for somebody to, to, to preach to his five brothers, to preach to them about, about a place that he ended up at so that they won't end up there. Beg for for to have a, a water, a drop of water on his tongue. You know, and then when you read about Lazarus, Abraham's bosoms, he was in paradise. Paradise, y'all. Same thing that Jesus said to the to the thief on the cross with him. He said, this day you would be in paradise with me. He said you would be in paradise with me. Not heaven, paradise. Paradise and heaven is two different places. Believe that or not. People are not going not gonna to agree with this. Um, a lot of people are already disagreeing with me saying that uh, in my last video that I put about um, we will put you in hell. They didn't agree with me on that one. Because, see, it's, it's so funny when when you make a video about um, about a sin, right? That somebody's not in. Oh, they will, they will be hallelujah, amen, agreeing with you, getting on their knees, praying. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Falling out on the floor. And then as soon as you, you touch on their sin. Oh, oh no, nah, uh-uh, no. Nope. No, nah, he ain't showing no love. Uh, I ain't about to listen to him. Unsubscribe. I'm not about to listen to him. Uh uh, he don't know what he's talking about. Why 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 he why he judging? Why he judging people? But but you were just the main one that was that was praising God with me. I you know that's 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 very funny. It is. It's in, in the funny way it's sad. So I'm gonna talk about this. Do sin put you in hell? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Spiritual J coming back at you again with another video, man. I pray all of y'all is doing well. Y'all staying safe out here. Um, praising and worshiping the Most High every day and all day. Thanking Him for to blessing us to see a whole nother day. And for you unbelievers who come across this video, I pray that you you wake up and get delivered and you come out of what you're doing. And, and the ones who are, who say, call themselves believers and they still living in the wickedness and darkness, I pray that you wake up and you come out of what you're doing also. So let's go ahead and talk about this. But do sin put you in hell? Yes. Sin does put you in hell. Message to you unbelievers, to you ones who disagree, say that we don't go to hell for sin. Some dudes comment on my video saying, if God, if God died for our sins, why would he, why would he put us in hell? That's just, you know, I hear that from uh from quite a few people. They want to throw scriptures at you, wanna wanna try to explain to you the scriptures the way that they understand it, when they when they're they just completely off about the scriptures. But that's but who who wants to see somebody ignorant of, of a scripture? Who wants to see somebody deceived? Who wants to deceive your mind so bad that you would think that sin don't put you in hell? Who would want you to continue to willfully sin and keep you in sin and for you to believe that, oh, nah, man, what you doing? God, Jesus died for your sin. So now you got the you got the gift of eternal life. You good now. Now you can you can do all the sin you want and you still going to go to heaven. Who wants you to believe that? Satan. Oh, uh, Satan wants you to believe that. Satan wants you to, to believe that smoking weed is not a bad thing. 
he wants you to believe that fornication is not bad. Getting drunk is not bad. I actually reached out to quite a few people and they all said the same thing to me. I asked them, you know, I was preaching the truth, showed them where there was, you know, an error at. And I disagree with Creflo Dollar. That, I mean, I, I mean, don't everybody disagree with Creflo Dollar and stuff? Oh, and all the ones who brainwash, they, they agree with everything, even with his tithing. Uh -oh. But... Creflo Dollar said, don't show people where they're um, at error at. That's God's job. When when the Bible says, judge with the righteous judgment, rebuke each other. But he said, don't show where error, where, where people are in error at. So how are they going to know where they're at in um, error at? You got to show them the word. And, where, and, how, and how the most high shows them is through the word, through his word. That's what a preacher's job is. Well, pastor, that's what their job is. To preach the word. Preach against sin. Show you, tell you what you're not, what, what won't inherit the kingdom. That's what a pastor's job is. But people out here, they have their own way of what the Bible, I mean, what the scriptures mean. Because they want to keep doing what they do. They don't want to get delivered. They want to keep living for the flesh. In the book of Matthew, it tells you, I believe that's 21 and 8, I believe. See, I'm not one of those people who know the book and the scriptures by heart, by this and that. No, nah, I'm not one of them. No, nah, I know, I know, you know, quite, I like a lot of them, but some of them I do still need to go back and look, but it's in the book of Matthew when it tells you, walk in the spirit. You know, walk in the spirit. Galatians 6 and 8 tells you if you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap destruction. If you sow to the spirit, you're going to reap eternal life. You have to walk in the spirit. If you're not walking in the spirit, you're going to be you're going to be living for the flesh and living for the flesh is what? Destruction. Destruction. The lake of fire. It's the lake of fire. That's that's where your home going to be at if you're walking in the flesh. And I'm not only here to I'm not talking, I'm not saying this, making this video because I think I'm better than anybody because I think I, I just know everything because, you know, I'm judgmental. No. No, I'm not judging you. Rebuking? Yeah. I'm rebuking the ones who say that sin doesn't put you in hell because you are wrong. And Satan is a liar. Satan is a liar. And he's grabbing so many people's minds. He's grabbing their minds and and deceiving them, telling them that they won't go to hell for sin. Stop, stop believing it. That was the whole reason why Jesus came. He said, Jesus, Jesus even said out of his own mouth, he said that I came not to bring peace, but the sword. I came not to bring peace, but the sword. They, they even said in John that, that the word became flesh. Flesh is what? Jesus. In the beginning was God. And y'all, let me tell you something. This word, this word is the most high. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Yes, Jesus is God. Jesus is God. I know quite a few people don't believe that either. They said, oh, Jesus is not God. What are you talking about? Jesus is not God. You, you, don't, you don't know what you're talking about. You you just, he, he, he lying and stuff. But let me tell you something. If sin doesn't put you in hell, why would there be so many so many scriptures in the Bible that's telling you won't what, what won't inherit the kingdom? What sin won't put you in heaven? I mean, obviously, people don't read their Bibles because if, if you believe that sin don't put you in, if you believe that sin don't put you in hell, then you you don't read the Bible. That means that you don't read your Bible. And I'm and this is I'm I'm showing love. Some of y'all might think that I'm showing hate. I'm being too rough. He mean. He this and that. No, I'm I'm showing love. Cause there's there's too many people that have already passed on already who just didn't care about the word.
didn't care about God. They, they didn't care. They they just, you know, they, they lived their life doing all types of drugs and stuff. And, and, it's so, and it's so funny how you see so many people that go on YouTube and they want to make videos trying to tell you that God gave them a vision that God showed them where, where DMX went. God showed, God showed me that DMX went to hell. God showed me that DMX went to heaven. God showed me Tupac, Tupac is sitting on, is, is sitting with God. God showed me that Biggie, Biggie, did, Biggie is on rapping in, in, in hell. Uh, this is, this is what people are making these type of videos saying that God showed them something. When, when the devil just showing you all that, that type of stuff, but you, oh, that was God. God showed you, gosh, uh, you, well, now, let, well, now let me say this. The devil showed you a dream that you were flying. You, you had a cape on with a big S on your chest. Now you're going to make a video. Oh, God showed me. Oh, the, the father woke me up at, the father woke me up at five o'clock in the morning. And he, he, well, the father gave me a dream. And I woke up around five o'clock and he showed me that the chosen ones are about to, we, we are about to fly, y'all. We, we are about to fly. Wow. <laughs> Take that, that kindergarten stuff back to school. Because y'all don't know what the world you're talking about. God ain't showed you no, no type of dream like that. Satan showed you that. Oh, oh, Satan showed you, showed you that. Deceived your mind. That is just a, Man, that's a babe in Christ who who talks about that. But it is clear what won't inherit the kingdom. If you go read the book of Galatians, the book of Matthew, the book of Proverbs, Revelation, it's telling you what won't inherit the kingdom. If you ain't, if you're not gonna make eternal life, where are you going then? Where you go? No, you ain't just gonna be flying around here. Where you going then? To the lake of fire. Second day. That's the second day. Where you going then? Think about that. All of y'all who saying that, oh, it's all right for us to smoke weed. We, we you talking, you, you listening to a weed, ex-weed addict. I used to be a weed addict. God convicted me of that. It, man, I'm telling you, every time I used to backslide, and go back to smoking weed when I knew that God wanted me to stop. And I would go back to smoking weed because I was trying to please my flesh. You know, I just then I was like, man, what I got to stop for? For what? You know, but God kept sending people to me, kept sending videos to me, kept showing me that you need to stop smoking this weed. You cannot serve two masters. You're going to love one and hate the other. Smoking weed is sorcery. Smoking weed is sorcery. Yes, it's sorcery. Because when you smoking that stuff, you know, you getting all that smoke inside your body and stuff, yo, you don't understand that you open yourself up to the spiritual realm. And when you open yourself up like that to the spiritual realm, you are inviting in so many spirits into your body, into your life. It's definitely into your body because demons need a body to do their work. They need a body. And when you give them access, like getting high and stuff, you don't know what you just did. They will come in and you will, you will turn into an addict. Now, Revelation 21 and 8, it tells you that sorcerers, people who practice magic arts, uh, sexual um, um, immorals like fornicators and stuff, adulterers, you know, these people will not inherit the kingdom. They will not inherit the kingdom. That's Revelation 21 and 8. Romans 6, Romans 6 and 23 tells you, for the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. Okay, but the free gift from God is eternal life. Now, let's start right there. Now, people like to use that scripture also to justify that, yeah, Jesus died for our sins. So now 
we we can that he gave us the free gift of eternal life so it's a free gift we now we're going to be there when we die we're going to be in eternal life no 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 let me correct you on that that is wrong that is ignorant of the scriptures the free gift of eternal life yes he paved the way for us he died for our sins that was the whole point this were a murder our savior This world murdered our Savior. Murdered him. They called him a devil. Threw stones at him. Probably spit on him. And did all that stuff to him. This is what that's what this world did to him. And people like that is still here. They did that to the to our Savior. And and, and you got and you got so many people out here who saying that. Jesus didn't exist and stuff, or he paved the way. Or Jesus, or, or Jesus, he we can we can sin now, we can sin because and it's all right because we because he he died for our sins and stuff. No, the whole point of the Most High sending that flesh here, with the Word turned into the flesh. I, I believe that's in the Book of John where it tells you that that the Word became flesh. The Word became flesh. Yes, Jesus the Christ, the Word. All right, it became flesh, so he he died for our sins. That's the whole point why he sent that flesh here was to show, basically, show us an example of how to live, how we should live. If Jesus never had came here, we, we wouldn't even have a Bible. Basically, we wouldn't even have a Bible. If that, if if the Most High wouldn't have never sent that flesh and worked through that flesh, there would be no Bible. Just, just think about that. Because this was this Bible shows you the works that he did. And there's so many people that call themselves so-called believers, so-called people of the most high, who's who trying to serve two masters, trying to they being lukewarm Christians, they trying to serve this world and serve the most high. It don't work like that. Because if you still trying to do that and you die while in the midst of being a lukewarm Christian. And you you stand before the Father when when Second Corinthians five and ten even tells us it says that we're all going to stand in front of God. We will all stand in front of God, and we're gonna and we're He's gonna judge us off of anything that we did, whether it was good or evil. We will have to answer for it. For all, especially for the for the evil, we will have to answer for for all everything evil that we that we done in this life. We're gonna have to answer for it. And he gonna he gonna ask a lot of people why why you you know why you trying to serve two masters why you know but these people think that they can still live in sin they can still live in sin and serve the Most High Romans three three and twenty three tells you we all for all have sinned and fall short for the for the glory of God yes y'all we all have sinned. And we all still gonna be sinners. We all probably gonna still sin until the day we die. But where does it say after that scripture to willfully sin? To sin just because? Where does it say just to to, uh, to uh, keep sinning because we got the free gift of eternal life? Y'all, the free gift is that's it. Jesus came here and paved the way for us. He showed us how we should live when he when he um. Um, approached that that woman at the well. He asked her. He said, "Is is the man that you with your your husband?" He said, "Uh, where is your husband?" She said, "She don't have one." She said that, that the man is not her husband. She was honest with him. The man wasn't her husband. He wasn't. He he, he wasn't her her husband. So she got out of what she was doing, and then she that's when she walked around and she started telling people about Jesus. He delivered her from it. She repented and and she turned away from it. He's showing that he's paving the way for us, showing us how we should live our life. Never once did, did you see Jesus say in, in the Bible to willfully sin and you're still going to make heaven. He never once said that. I never seen that. Show, show me that. Show me if you can put in the comments, show me a scripture where it says that Jesus said that it's OK to willfully sin and live, live for the devil. And, you know, and, you know, and, and you still gonna make it in. Show me that. Show me that. 
Well, if you read in the book of John, the book of John tells you that, yes, we there's people who have lived in darkness, but now you are you are are of the light. Don't walk in a darkness. A lot of people are walking in darkness. A lot of people feel like act like they they. You know, some people actually feel like they never even walked in, in darkness before. Some people are so holier than, than thou that they have that they did no wrong in their life. You got people like that who act like they have they have never lived in darkness. Now, this is in the book of John. And this is in and this is speaking. In the book of John is telling us that. God is love. God is light. Anybody who lives in, in anybody who is still living in darkness, let me tell you something. You ain't going. Don't don't even talk about eternal life. Don't even don't even talk about eternal life if you still living in darkness. If you know better, you should do better. A lot of people, a lot of people know better in this life. A lot of people know exactly what they what they're doing is wrong. They know exactly what they're doing is wrong, but they don't want to get away from the flesh. They don't want to get away from the flesh. They want to keep living for their flesh. They want to keep they want to keep walking in the flesh, serving the flesh, and they're only going to reap destruction. At the end of the day, they're going to reap destruction. So yeah, I ain't, I ain't going to say too much more in this video. Um if you believe that you can still sin willfully and make heaven then you you got a rude awakening coming. Hey, you got some you, you got you got something coming for you. If you think that you can still live in live live for the flesh, you can still willfully sin and and make heaven. Nah, it don't work that way. It say few Bible is clear with that. The most high is clear on, on, on this. Few that be that find it. It's only gonna be a few people that, that will be in heaven. It's only a few people in this world who are walking that narrow path. It's only a few of us. It's not many. It's people that, that claim that they are, but they still living in, in sin. They still living, living for the flesh, serving the flesh. You got to deny yourself. If you can't deny yourself, then I don't, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. If you can't deny yourself, yes, that's the hardest thing to do in this life is to uh, deny yourself, especially if you're still young. Yeah, that's the hardest thing to do. Cause your flesh want to do a lot of stuff. It really want to do a lot of stuff that 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 you were doing when you were in darkness. But now that you are of the light, which Paul said, now that that you are, are of the light, you should be walking in the light. You should. We are. We're, we're supposed to be the light of the world. We're supposed to. What did uh, Martin Luther King say? He say, "Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that." Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. But many people are trying to mix darkness with darkness and think that they're gonna drive out darkness with darkness. It's not it. No. You think that you gonna you gonna you gonna use hate towards people and think that you gonna you gonna drive out hate? Nah. You only gonna make it worse. You can't put fire fire with fire. You can't put lava in and fire and think that you gonna you gonna put the fire out. How does that work? It don't. It don't mix. Well, it, it it don't work. It's just, I mean, the fire is just gonna get bigger. It don't work. Th man, think about that, man. But y'all, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.